Welcome back. In the previous section, we saw what are broad categories for machine learning. Now, in this section, we are going to understand what are the different problems which can be solved with machine learning. Now, there are five different ways you can be asking questions to your smart machine and then it will be helping you to take the decision or maybe taking the decision from your own behalf. So let's look into these five categories or different types. So the first is your classification. So what happens in the classification is you are classifying some of the input into different types. For example, if I have a five categories which I need to classify my 20 books, I will be saying this book is literature, so it would go to the literature. This book is a children comic, so it goes to D. This book is a fiction, so it goes to D. And similarly, I can categorize all the 10 books into different category. One is for literature to the kids section. So these are A to D sections. Now machine will be used in this type of problem when the input set is huge. It's not 10, it's 10,000 or 10 million. And the categories in which you need to categorize or you need to identify what categories each of the product or item belong will be also huge. A machine which has learned to identify and classify will be used to do that. So that is number one, the classification. The next type is anomaly detection. Is there a fault? Now this type of issues, we have seen the maintenance, the predictive maintenance has gained a lot of popularity. This is one of the big example of your anomaly detection. You have some set of parameters which tells you that things are not going in the right direction. If you have a veil and suddenly the temperature and the pressure rised to the critical and going beyond the critical, then there's a problem or the problem can really happen there. So in those situations, machine knows how to really judge those parameters and tell you then there will be some of the issues coming out and some of the anomalies can be happening. The other good examples is when you are doing bank transfers or doing any of the credit card transactions in those scenarios, if some of the transactions are fraudulent and machine will understand that transactions are not real and can block those transactions before the bad guys can take your money. So that's how your anomaly detection can help you in multiple different way as well. Now the next category is regression. Now when we talk about regression, the question which will come is how much or how many then you will be able to identify this is a regression problem. Now, some of the examples will clear what is basically regression is if you have to take the decision of what is the price of a new product which you will be keeping if the new product is coming new in the market. If you are launching a new product, what should it be costing? So that you will be making maximum profit and also will be able to sell it properly with the competition in the market. So those kind of decisions is regression where you ask the machine how much or how many. The number which is output from the machine is a number which can be a fraction or an integer number. And most of the time a mathematical model will be inside this machine learning brain when it goes and solves the regression problem. So the fourth category is clustering. In the clustering we have already discussed in the previous section, you will be asking the machine how this is organized or should be categorized. Don't confuse this with the classification. Clustering will be done over a large data set simultaneously. So the machine will not be one by one telling you if it belongs to A category or B category, but telling you that this all items or this all objects belong to a similar category. And that category can be anything based on the sizes or the color it has categorized a lot of things and these are actually represented as one cluster. One of the good example is K-mean clustering which was used initially to cluster product of Amazon which you see when you buy a similar product. So these are all the algorithm previously used. Now there are advanced algorithm being used in Amazon and IMDB but initially we were using K-mean clustering, a variation of clustering algorithm. 
to find out the similar product in Amazon and IMDb movie rating systems. Now the last type of machine learning problem which will be solved is reinforcement right up there. And the question typically is what is the next step? For example, if I'm playing this chess game, which I have already given you example in the previous section, if you want to ask machine, what is the next step which I should take so I should not lose or win the game? This type of problem is typically a reinforcement learning category problem. And most of the time, a mathematical model will be trained with positive and negative reinforcement to answer the questions for you. So these are five different types of answers or the problems you will be pitching the machine and machine will be giving you answer. Now next section will be all about algorithms and more details about how this is done. To summarize this topic, there are five different varieties of problem which can be formulated to machine and those are classification, anomaly detection, regression, clustering and finally the reinforcement learning. There are so many things which you can do with machine learning and we will be going into one by one and looking next into the algorithm which makes it possible. So let's catch up the next section to see the technical part of this machine learning technical capability to solve the problem. So let's catch up in the next section to see the algorithm side of the machine learning. Sounds interesting, isn't it?